Let's move along through here. I get up this way. You've got to be kidding me. Welcome back, everybody, to Icarus. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to sit back out and head over uh, to this area to see if we can figure out a way out of the Ring Lake biome. Uh, so that is the main plan for today. Let's get a couple of things ready to go before we take off. Uh, we're going to refresh our air bladder. We'll put that there, and then stick this one in here. I have um, two antibiotic tonics with us in case we have to hide out in a cage, a cave. In fact, why don't we take three with us? I've made two spare knives and even a spare longbow to take with us. Um, I don't want to make any more arrows until we hit the next level so we can get the deadly whatever, whatchamacallit thing uh, up to level three, which will essentially make our arrows 10% tem more damage. Uh, on that, and let's see, we have a we already have pneumonia already. Doggone it! It's just, I think it's because I'm playing on hard. It, it seems to proc more than I remember it ever proccing. So that's probably what's going on with that. All right, I think we're good to go. Uh, let's replenish our stack of. Oh, we don't have have any more uh, cream corn left. We can make. Uh, oh, we need water. Yeah, okay. Let's get some water here real quick. I don't know if these worms are going to respawn or not. Probably. Maybe. Maybe not. Man, we get a parasite. Yay. Yeah, yes. I should probably just get that rain cistern thing of a dual setup. We're going to need it eventually anyways. Um. We, you know, actually... We have six. Yeah, we have 16 ears of corn left. We might as well just make the rest of that. It's going to go bad one way or the other. So we'll fill all of those up. Okay, let's make that many more creamed corn. And we'll take those with us. We have five cooked fatty T-bones. Um, we might as well take the bacon with us in case we happen to run out of that before it's all said and done. I don't think we will, but we might. Good. And then uh, we'll just take one of these full water skins with us. So I think we're good to go on food. Uh, we got bandages. And uh, I think we're good. Okay, let's head out. Actually, here. This could stand to be repaired once. And do we have a bear out here? I heard something growling. A jag. He did. There is a bear though too. Okay. We have 130 seconds left on our pneumonia. I wonder if we should just forget about it, let it wear off so we can save a tonic. Oh, uh, you know what? Screw that. Tonics are cheap to make. There's no point in doing that, especially if we get chased by a bear here in a minute. Alright. Here, let's look at the map for a second. Yeah, we basically just want to go straight across here, and then we're going to... Well, no, actually, let's not. Let's go this way, and we'll follow this around and then come back this way. That's the plan, Stan. Jaguar.
Okay, I'm just going to leave him because we're not going to stay in the area and I don't want to load up on a bunch of stuff right now. we got to stay mobile. Okay, so we are now along the wall here. And we're basically just going to stay along the wall, look for caves, and investigate this area up here. Going through the <clears throat> waterfall area might be a little tricky if there's crocs around there because there's not going to be a lot of room to maneuver, so we'll just see how that goes. That island reminds me a little bit of uh, the one of the very first times I played this game. We were in uh, the, the main forest area, I can't remember what it's called, and uh, there was an island a little bit bigger than that, and that's where I built my first base. Good memories. Are there crocs in this water? If there aren't, this could be a good place to have a base. When we came by here, what was it, a couple episodes ago? I don't remember seeing any crocs. Hmm. Okay, we'll have to keep that in mind. I really like the waterfall. The view is really nice. There's a pig. And a wolf. Alright, let's take them out. Because I would like white meat and I would like bacon. You know what? Actually, let's not mess with him. I'm not thinking. We gotta, we gotta move. We gotta stay mobile. We could harvest the, the pig and get the bacon, but then half of it'll spoil by the time we get home. This is such a gorgeous area. And yes, I did hear the bear. I just don't see him yet. Oh, there he is. Okay. Um. I'd probably rather avoid him if we can. This would not be a good spot to fight him, that's for sure. Let's just keep going up this way. We'll stay stealthed. Having a little place on that waterfall would be neat. Very picturesque. Okay, let's move. Wow, this whole area is just like a, a waterfall going down in there. So neat. There's one thing... One thing you can say about this game is it is gorgeous. Is that another bear? No, oh, it's a jag. Come on. Pumpkins! Those are the first pumpkins I've seen. All right. Um, I'm. I think. I don't know if those respawn. Actually, I think they do respawn. Let's grab them. What I'm more interested in is watermelon and soybeans. And look what we got here: soybeans, ladies and gentlemen. All right. That means. We now have a reason to make the pot-bellied stove. And we are going to harvest these with our sickle so we can get as many as possible.
It's a Jaguar. He's already spotted us. Alright, let's take a bandage. Man, it's pretty up here. Ruthless 2. Achieved 250 critical hits. Got a wolf sniffing us out. And we got another level. Alright, we're gonna go here. And we're gonna go combat. And we're gonna get level 3 of Deadly 3. So now any arrows we make, what do we got? Severe winds? That's not good. Um, any arrows we make now will have an extra 10% damage. Along with everything else, our archery skills are impressive. Here's some carrots. So now we just need to make better bows and arrows as we go along, and we will be in very good offensive shape with archery. These carrots. Okay, let's go. We might, if I don't see a cave immediately here, we're going to have to burrow into a rock because this is a severe windstorm. We don't want to be out in it. No surrey bob. Let's just look along here real quick. This valley is gorgeous, you guys. I think it's prettier up here than it is down below where we have, where we've been. Not to mention the fact that it's got pumpkins, watermelons, yay! I'm gonna leave them for now. All the stuff we need for garden and whatnot. I wonder if this lake has crocs. This stupid wind doesn't blow a tree down on our head. No caves, though. Oh, oh, look out! tree falls on our head. Alright, I'm not spotting the cave. Uh, so we probably need to get inside this boulder here. Before the red part hits. Sheltered. Wait, are we? Yeah. All right. I'm just gonna wait for this. Wait out the storm. I'll bring you guys back when it is done. Okay. The worst of the storm is just about over. So let's set out here and keep going along the wall here. No caves so far. Okay, skin these boys. Leather Gatherer 3. All right, I'm gonna swap out this knife because I don't want it to break. 
in the middle of combat, that would not be good. And let's keep working our way around the wall here. I also want to go down to that lake and see if there's any crocs in it because I really like this area. This is probably where we're going to do our base. Oh, I do see a croc out there. And there's another, two more jaguars. Doggone it, man. This is Jaguar Alley. Here comes this buddy. You want some too? And a wolf. Okay, um, let's take a look at this. We don't need all that stone, so let's just get rid of that. That's making us heavy. I think everything else we're going to hang on to for the moment. Let's replenish our food, and I want to make a few more bandages. Uh, we need some fiber for that. Yeah, there is a lot of veggies up in this valley. Really, really good to know. Even if we didn't live up here, we could come and get them and then just plant them, you know, down below. Just really surprised there isn't any in the main valley, though. As, as in, is that intentional? You know? I don't know. Oh, come on, leg. Alright, so there's a croc. There's two crocs down there, so... We definitely know <coughs> that that lake is loaded with crockies. Cracky crackies. Let's move along through here. I get up this way. You've got to be kidding me. We just fell through the world, you guys. Unbelievable. Really? Okay, I think this... Hopefully this will work. Whew! Okay. Yeah. Land us right next to a wolf. Okay. So, yeah, that could have gone a lot worse. It was over in that corner that we fell through, so we, we don't want to go over that way at all. Whew, okay, we're good. We got this. We just have to watch our health now. Uh, this would not be a good time to run into a bear, or anything else for that matter. I am not seeing a way out of this place. Is it... Is open world intended for you to stay in the biome you started, like, for the whole entire thing? I mean, why... If that's the case, why wouldn't they give us access to the whole map? I mean... Okay, we're not actually stuck here because I just have to think this through. We can go back up to the station in our pod... Um, can we do that though? If we go back up in the pod, does that, no, that wouldn't in the open world session. It's just that I don't think we can land in a different biome. I, I, we would only be able to come back down to this biome. I'm, I'm going to have to read up on that and feel free to let me know in the comments if you guys know how that all works, because I'm still trying to figure out all these new changes. But it seems, it would seem odd to me that you wouldn't have access to the entire map, but just the biome you landed in. Alright, let's go 
I, I'm, I'm kind of stalling a little bit for, and waiting for my health to come back before we set out. Uh, but look at that view. Isn't that gorgeous? Man. I love it. So we've confirmed that there's crocs in this lake, but I still haven't seen any crocs in the lower lake. All right. Well, let's start working our way this way. We're about ha our 50% of our health is back. It looks like that might be an aluminum deposit over there. But definitely no caves out of here that I can see. Yep, aluminum. Bears off that way. a little above ground coal deposit. You see those on occasion. There's a wolf right there. I'm gonna leave him there because I don't know what other predators that might attract. Okay, another wolf is going over towards him, and a jaguar. Alright. Where there's one, there might be more. watching for a moment see if anything else comes in before we set out that wolf's chowing down on the other one over there okay let's go I'm gonna leave him there so we can get moving okay so we have discovered that there are vegetables up here that we need so that is really good we also have discovered that there's no apparent way out of this biome so like I said what I will do is I'll do some research and see if I can figure out how you're supposed to get out of here and if you can't get out of here then you know we well, the only way to, to leave is to take the pod back up into space um, and if we can't, if we, if we're forced to come back to Ring Lake, then what we might do is we might just stay here um, for a while. We'll build a base, we'll level up, and then we'll just take this character and do, you know, new open world sessions as a part of what we're doing here for Season 2. Um, if I can't get out of here. That's not really the way I wanted to do it, but there's a check. I'm not sure what other solutions there are. Oh, we hit the side of the cliff. Let's just wait a second and see if that draws anybody in, including Mr. Bear. He looks like he might be kind of stuck on that island over there. Is he? He kind of acts that way. Okay, well, let's not mess with him.
Oh, we got prime meat? We didn't get prime meat. Why did I just get prime meat gatherer? Oh, wait a minute. There isn't prime meat in this game. I'm thinking of Ark Survival Vault. <laughs> I think it just means I am the prime meat gatherer. Not prime meat. Maybe, I don't know. All right, are there crocs in this lake? This is the one... This is the lower lake, yeah. Here, let's grab a few watermelons, too. So we can make some fruit salad when we get back. Um... Th see, those are not crocs. Those are fish. So if this is a crocodile-free lake, that would be cool. Because then, like, that little island could be a, a place for a base, and then we have the view of the waterfalls over there. I could be down for that. Oh, did I just see a jaguar over there? No, it's a deer. Take a drink. Yeah, I am not seeing any crocodiles anywhere. Let's go over to this island. Get out of here. We actually need to do some fishing if we're going to make fish curry. Yeah, we could we could set up a nice little base here. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to go out on a limb here guys and say there's no crocs in this lake. And if that is the case, I think this is where we're going to build our base because it's just gorgeous up here anyway, and the veggies are up here. And we got that view. Okay. Let's pick up a couple of fish for dinner. Uh, usually the piranhas will come after us. We'll make some fish curry. But we're going to also have to make the pot belly stove, which is fine because it's worth having. No piranhas? How much fish do we have? Uh, five. We need to get rid of some stuff. Drop that that. Drop this. What time is it? 16. Yeah, we better get rolling. That'll be enough. Oh, that scared the heck out of me. <laughs> That'll be enough. Um, I do want to go along this wall here, though. And uh, our cave is right about there, just so we have it on the compass. But let's go along this wall and see if we can discover some more caves. There's something growling over there. Probably a jag. Our health is just about all the way back, though, so we're good. Oh, there's a cave right there. Oh, yeah, we, we already discovered this cave. And poked a hole in it. Okay. Oh, cave. Uh, but we haven't gone all the way along the mountain this way. At least I don't think we have. I don't remember. Okay, so this gets us all the way back to Ring Lake. Uh, I know there's... I think there's at least two caves over that direction. But... Um, we do not have enough daylight to to do that. So let's start heading back to our, our cave. But this was good, man. It was a good uh, expedition. So again, just, you know, my plan right now, I'm, like I said, I'm going to research. That sounded like a croc. 
I'm gonna research um what the what the deal is with whether or not we can get out of here. And if we can't, then we just stay here for as long as I feel like it, I guess. But n definitely not for the whole season two of playing this game. And then we leave with this character. And we take this character and we go to a new location and and live there for a while. I think that's probably how we'll do it. Another another possibility, though I'm not sure I like this idea. I'm just kind of brainstorming right at the moment. Uh, but another possibility is to um, start over in each of the biomes. Well, not the snow biome. That is just not going to be possible. You know, with new characters on hard mode. But, honestly, that doesn't really sound fun to me. <laughs> I don't mind the struggle at the very beginning once, but have to do that over and over and over again is not really my idea of a good time. I'll be honest with you. Okay. Really? You're back already? Alright, come here. Where'd you go? Oh, uh, you know, we're almost to the next level. Let's kill all these worms. So close. <laughs> so close. We could probably go cut down a tree or something and get the last level. Okay, so because we have this, now whenever we make arrows, they will have the deadly three alteration. Um, so right now, these arrows do 63 to 70. Oh, okay. I think we have to make it first. Let's just make one for a second and look at it. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Okay. So this arrow has 69 to 77 projectile damage. Um, quite a bit stronger than just the normal ones because of deadly alteration. So we are going to make a whole bunch of those, and that's just going to make us even that much stronger. But before we lose these fish... Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the tech tree. I know I have more talents to spend too, but let's go to the tech tree. Tier 2. Uh, oh, we already learned the potbelly stove. We just need to craft it. So we need 40 iron, 6 copper, and 10 epoxy. Uh, do I have epoxy in here? I do. Look at that. Grab 40 iron. Oh, shoot. We don't have room. Hold on. Drop and drop. And let's take this max. Let's make some fruit salad. We only grab the one watermelon, but hey, we'll have some dessert. We'll put that in front so we can make it right away. Okay, now back to here. <clears throat> we need 40 of those and a few of those, I think. Make the pot belly stove. Oh, good. That got us to the next level. Fantastic. Okay. Now, this is a really, really good step up in terms of what we'll be able to do with the food. So let's just put this right here. Uh, okay. And then um, we want to put the soybeans, the fish, and some fat in here and we also need to put some wood in there uh, wood 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 I have not even have any wood yeah here split that stack <clears throat> I'm trying to hurry so we don't lose that that fish that's so we can make five of these all right and then fish curry max five go so look at this stuff, 225 maximum health. 
plus 10 health regeneration, plus 10 stamina regeneration. Very, very good food for health. And uh, very cool. Okay, I'm glad we were able to make that. And we were also able to make a fruit salad. Let's eat it now. We'll, we'll eat dessert first because life's uncertain, right? Okay, we'll put that in there, that in there, that in there. Excuse me. Um, the other thing that we can make in here, we can't make anything having to do with squash. We make sweet corn soup, which is 100 maximum stamina compared to cream corn, which is 75. Of course, cream corn also gives us health, whereas this does not. So the cream corn is still, I think, a little bit better. We can't make mushroom soup or stew or soybean stir fry because we need mushrooms for all of this, uh, which you have to find in the snow biome. But we can make crispy bacon. So crispy bacon is 90 health, 90 stamina, plus 10 critical damage, and 15 experience gain. That is some really good stuff. So we gotta we gotta kill some hogs and make crispy bacon. Cool man. Alright, glad we're able to make that food. I love the pot belly so. Um, okay, so let's talk about what's coming up next. Uh, we do have we have one more level to hit to 20, and then we can get into Tier 3. Uh, we do have a solo talent. So for the solo talent, what is this? Precision logging, decreased oxygen hunger and thirst. Food buffs persist longer by 10%. That's pretty good. Uh, what does this do? Uh, I don't care about that. Pack horse, 25% weight capacity. Ooh, that would be good to get too, actually. Uh, and this one gives us 10% moving speed, and this gives us more melee damage. All right, let's stick with the combat-based ones for the moment. <coughs> um, well, no. Actually, we need to start with that for the combat. Yeah, actually, I think I want to do that. Okay. Because that will unlock all of these, which each one applies to each of the different types of weapons. I like it. I like it. Okay, we have a talent point over here, too. So we could go with... Chance to fire an additional arrow, which will then unlock soft spot for critical damage, which will eventually unlock pinning shot, and that's the one that can freeze him in place. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to just kind of keep going straight down here, and we'll probably eventually get wounded shot, too, but... You know, by the time we flesh this out, I'm not necessarily going to get all of these. In fact, I'm definitely not going to get all of these. But, you know, when we get the ones that I want to get, we are going to be badass with the bow. Um, which is good, because we need to be. <laughs> uh, I'd like to get into firearms too, but that's that's going to come later on. Um, so, I think, guys, that is it. Hey, guess what? We got pneumonia. How about that? I think that's it for this episode. It was a good episode. And uh, so, let's talk about the plan coming up. <clears throat> We want to hit level 20, <clears throat> excuse me, so we need one more level to do that. And then we are going to move to this island here. This is going to be our new home because as far as I can tell, there's no crocs in that lake. And we're near, you know, we've got vegetables all up in, in this valley here that we can get. It's a beautiful location and I'm really digging it. This place is just too dangerous. There's so many crocodiles around here, uh, you know, along with everything else that wants to eat us that um, it's too dangerous. So we're not going to be living over here. We will go over there because there's more caves and stuff. Uh, we found a cave over here, which is pretty good size. We also know that there's a good size cave here. And uh, I didn't notice any caves at all, all the way along through here, though. So I believe that is the plan for... Uh, coming up for the next episode. So, um, I gotta think about how the, how we're gonna actually do this. Um, it might be a scenario where we get the masonry bench and we just build a small shelter uh, on the island and start working on the large shelter before we like move everything over there. But I'll think about that and we'll figure that out. And then I'm also going to do some research on how we get out of Ring Lake, the Ring Lake biome, if we can at all. And 
I will let you know what I find out in the next episode. And, and again, you guys let me know in the comments too if you know what the answer to that is. Okay? With that being said, I'm going to let you go here. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye bye.